Spain Television. Ours it is. Hello, good afternoon, viewers. Happy Sunday. Welcome to your darling program, Darling Christian Talk Show, Issues in Christendom. And we are coming to you live on Western Spring Television, Channel 190 on Star Times. I'd like you to follow us on our social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, and X, formerly Twitter, at Western Spring Television. You can also watch us live on our YouTube channel at Western Spring Television. I am Pastor Steve Akinwumi, your host. This Sunday afternoon, we'd like to uh, interrogate a beautiful topic that is very central to Christendom and to all religion, but particularly the Christendom. And particularly, the Christendom is also called the faith. And therefore, we're looking at the topic, the strength of faith. The strength of faith. How powerful, how potent faith is. Where does faith come from? And what is the use and the exploits of faith? And this afternoon, we are blessed having... Uh, a man of God joining this conversation from the Baptist uh, denomination. I uh, you know Shobo here, Pastor Ade Dotson Uluwashim Livingstone. Pastor, good yes, afternoon sir. and welcome to the show today. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much, Pastor. Mm. And good afternoon to our viewers at home. It's a privilege to be here again this afternoon. I'm sure that um, when the people from the south side see you, they will think that uh, you are also <laughs> one of them. In fact, you look senatorial. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Yeah. So, Pastor, yes, what sir. is faith to you? Faith. Wow. Uh, faith is a very deep concept. Mm. Very deep. Mm. And will I say belief is like a junior brother. Okay. And faith is a senior man. <laughs> yes. Uh, a lot of people believe, but they don't have faith. Mm. And faith is a corresponding action to what we believe, to what we So profess. believe with belief, there yes, is no sir. action. There is no action. When you had action, action to it, to believe, uh, yes. you have faith. You have faith. And okay. that action must be a corresponding one. Must be corresponding to, yes, the, sir, belief, to, to the belief, not antithetical. Mm. Uh, exactly. Mm. So, and that is why the book of James chapter 2, verse 16 to 19, emphasizes that even Satan himself believed. Mm. But he showed that when he believed, mm. that God can save him. No, who is God? Mm. What is his capacity? And faith, as the book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, also uh, emphasizes that faith is the evidence of things. Mm. Not seen and substance mm. of things hoped for. Mm. So, and faith again is moving courageously, even in the mix of fear mm. or in the mix of adversity. Mm. So, at times when we go through challenges of challenge of life or mm. troubles of life, mm. but faith kept us going. Mm. Or we can also say it is a drive or inner force or energy mm. that keeps believer moving. Mm. So if faith is missing, there's no way a believer can keep on moving, mm. either in faith or in career, in family, mm. in any other mm. uh, aspect of life. Mm. So faith, as I said, is very fundamental, is the basis mm. to which every other thing rests upon. Even in Christianity, mm. as we have said, no one, none have seen God. Mm -hmm. No one... There are some things that uh, it cannot be explained, mm. but we are logically. logically, but we agree, we accept those things by faith. And that's mm. why another definition I give to faith is absolutely trust, conviction in someone or something without requesting for proof or evidence. Mm. That no, 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 you don't need to show me these things before I believe. And that's, mm. and that's what makes us a believer. And that's where the word believer, we generate that word from. Mm. And that's why a, a Christian today, we must be faithful when we mm. say we, we, we accept God, Jesus Christ, as our Lord and personal Savior. Mm. It is 
it is by faith. Mm. No one has seen Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Even talking of crucifixion, trying to explain uh, resurrection, that oh, this uh, you cannot explain those mm. things. Even science cannot explain it. The mm. birth of our Lord Jesus Christ cannot be explained. Mm -hmm. How can the virgin? But mm -hmm. we, by faith, by we, faith, we and, believe. Uh, we believe. And that's what the scripture also said that by faith we are saved. Mm. Now that you confess, that's why some people will ask that, ah, is that all? Mm. Just confession. That uh, you've given your life to Jesus Christ and following his precepts, obeying his command. You mean that is all? Won't I add any other? Thing? And that's why we Africans, we have issue with faith. <clears throat> because I do, in our, I, our ideology, in our philosophy, mm. we believe that we must do something, bring some element together mm. before we can reach out to God, mm. before we can build or construct a relationship with God. Mm. So, and when you now come to Christian faith, when we say it is by faith, don't bring water. Mm. You don't need to bring catch mm. You don't need to bring some element that we are pray into mm. it before mm. your prayer is answered. Mm. Some people believe, so, so uh, likewise, some people, when they come to meet you, even as a pastor, mm -hmm. the pastor, I, I had you've mm. said prayer mm. you've done this and that mm. but is that all mm. won't you give me something mm. eh? maybe mm. or won't you just tell me to do something mm. or to, no 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 mm. it is by faith by, right. by faith so That's i think right. is it without requesting for proof or any other thing and mm. if we can have this uh, basic understanding in us we'll be mm. able to relate well with god and also relate well with others mm. wow that's so great, so powerful introduction on the subject of faith and um, looking at the potency of faith, what faith is able to achieve and the importance of faith in the life mm -hmm. of a child of God. I want to read the scripture here from the book of Hebrews, okay. chapter 6 and verse 1. Okay. It says, therefore, mm -hmm. living the principles of the doctrine of Christ, of let's go on to perfection. Mm. Not lay again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God. Mm. So the writer of Hebrew here is establishing the fact that faith in God or faith towards God is a foundational class yes, sir. where we get born again. Born again. Yes, sir. Definitely. Now, it's like the ABC mm. of the English alphabet. If you don't know letter A, letter B, letter C, you can't know two letter words or three letter words. You can't write a sentence. You can't write a full, you know, um, passage. Mm. So it means that if we don't understand faith, then we don't understand the Christian faith. <laughs> Mm. So the understanding of faith is so fundamental and so critical. It is not only needed at the beginning, it is needed all through. All through. If you are a PhD holder, you must have learned ABC. The ABC you learned when you were in the nursery class is still useful when you are writing your thesis. So there is, it means that the subject of faith, either you are a new convert or you have been saved several years, you're a pastor, you're a church member, all of us together, we all need this subject of faith. Of faith. Definitely. Mm. Definitely. In fact, as we have said, uh, faith, the moment we got born again, mm. it mm. is true faith. Mm -hmm. And the moment we start to grow, mm. We, we grow, we also grow in faith. Mm. Faith is not static. Mm. It's not stagnant. It's, it's dynamic. Not, it, it, it's dynamic. It's progressive. It's progressive. It's, uh, I, 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 I will I put it now. It's like organism. It mm. grows. Mm. So the moment we think that, oh, no, I have faith yesterday. I don't have faith today. Faith can die. Mm. And that is why as a believer, and we have several categories. The major categories we have in the scripture, we have uh, the level of no faith mm. and we have the level of small faith mm. and we have the level of great faith mm. and it goes on like that mm. because we have extra supernatural faith mm. those, you know that some people at the point of when they just got born again mm. they will tell you that oh this no 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 me I, I can't go to uh, a deadly zone area for mm. nation work mm. I cannot do this and that is the level of faith at that moment mm. 
as the person began to grow and get nurtured in mm. the word of the Lord, as the person got better understanding of what the of who God is, mm. and all, you don't you won't preach to that person before he will tell you that oh I wish mm. there are unbelievers that I can preach to. Mm. Uh, is there any daily area that we need to take the gospel? Maybe an opportunity comes mm. to go and preach for maybe a Muslim, mm. a, a non-believer. You just have that confidence, that mm. boldness. So, but unlike before. They will say, no, 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 I can't go to that area. Mm. You know, I can't go to, like, maybe Sabo now. Let mm. me just say Sabo. Mm. We, we know that there is, is Muslim mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. Hausa people dominated. Mm -hmm. And you just feel like, oh, you just scared when they tell you that, okay, let us go for a mission trip. There. But mm. the moment you, you feed your feet and you grow, and mm. like, as we have said earlier, that there are two ways you can also grow in faith. Mm. The first one is through the word of the Lord. And that's why the scripture said in the Romans, in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17, mm. that faith comes by hearing and hearing the, the word, word of the Lord. So when we hear the word of Christ, it grows our faith. So meaning that the more we read, the more we study, the more we hear, mm. the more our faith grows. It even forms the faith. Yes, sir. And it forms the basis for mm. faith. Yes, Without definitely. the revelation of God's word, yes, sir. there is no faith formation. Yes, sir. there's no faith building mm. and there's no faith expression. It is so the word of God plays a critical role in the formation of our faith. Definitely. Because some people may claim faith outside of the revelation of God's word. And that is the difference between boldness and faith. Mm. Some people what they what they exemplify or what they what they display, their mm. disposition, mm. is boldness, not faith. It's not, it's, not, it's not even boldness, it's bold face. <laughs> okay, I, I love that. I, I it's love not that. bold, bold face. face. Yeah. Bold face. Mm. It's not boldness. I, I, at all. At because all. If, when we look at the men and women of faith in the Bible, they all demonstrated boldness at some point. Yes, sir. I mean, look at David when he faced Goliath. Mm. That's boldness. Yeah. Now, maybe we can say that uh, in, 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 in psychology, mm. we say boldness, <laughs> but like, in theology, yeah, yeah. we call it we faith. We call it faith. And mm. even in faith, mm. it supersedes. Yep. Yep. Boldness is an element, mm -hmm. but it supersedes. It goes beyond it go that. Thank you, sir. Mm, so like the book that. of Daniel that said that those that know their God, they shall do great shall exploit. be strong. They shall be strong and, and do, and exploit. do exploit. No, for David to confront Goliath. Mm. You know, the, the, the words, he said, the name of the God that you defy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. come to you in the name of the God, God that you defy. Mm. How dare you defy the God of Israel? Mm. You know, and many things like that. So that I said, uh, even with that boldness, what is, what is the basis of that boldness? Mm. Is it the knowledge of God? Mm. And that's why sometimes at some daring situation mm. and people will suggest that, oh, this one, you better succumb. Mm. You better visit the African traditionalists. Mm. You know, mm. they need to mm. shook eyes into this thing so that you can, so that you'll be able to overcome. And you just tell them that, no, 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 if God will not save me. Uh -huh. And like the three Hebrew men, mm. that bow. And you say, no, I will bow. If, right. Even if it is to die, we will die. Mm. We are not scared. Mm. We, are, we are not afraid of, we are not we, scared We'll of get to this aspect um, in, in, in a few minutes time, but I'm just looking at Talking about the source of it, mm. we've, we've mentioned the place of God's word, yes. the, revelation of, the revelation of God's word. Yes, sir. I'm looking at David's experience mm. when he faced Goliath at that point. Where did that faith come from? In fact, in David. In David. Uh, at that instant. Remember, David didn't leave his father's house with the aim of going to fight any Goliath. He was sent on errand. Carry this food, take it to the battlefield, give it to your brothers. So he came to deliver food. food. Like, a, what do you call these people? Errand the, boy. Errand boy. You know, a, like a messenger. Mm. And I said, go there. Goliath was talking. I was like, who is this guy? Where did that faith come from at that point? He wasn't prepared. I mean, formally, to face this guy. Uh, in the book of Isaiah chapter 9. Okay. When several prophecies were prayed concerning the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. 
that he will, you know, government shall rest upon his shoulders, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he shall be called this and that. Mm. But I love the last part of that verse. Mm. He said, the zeal of the Lord shall perform this. So mm -hmm. there, there, there's a level of faith that comes from zeal. Mm. When you have zeal mm. for the Lord, mm. for the things of the Lord. Mm. There's a family also, uh, an encounter happened in the Old Testament. Okay. When people, when this uh, particular uh, people began to do the way, behave the way they like. Mm. And the Lord sent plague mm. into their midst. Mm. And there's this particular young guy. He just picked one of the 18 Mm. One of the uh, young guests, mm. he slept. No, mm -hmm. in the process of sleeping, a guy, I think Phineas, mm -hmm. uh, he, he mm -hmm. took his spear and struck that, and immediately the, the Lord entered a covenant the, the with that. Yes, the plague stopped. Yes, the plague stopped, and the Lord entered covenant with him. What mm. am I saying in to answer your questions? Mm. The zeal of the Lord. Mm. And that is why mm. when he confronted Goliath, mm. he, it wasn't about him. Mm. It wasn't about, in fact, when the king wanted to stop him, that, ah, no, ah, you are a young boy. How can you face a professional? So this man has been fighting battle since birth. Mm -hmm. He was born into the world field. Mm -hmm. So he knew... Intimidating civil. Uh, yes, sir. In fact, even the king, Saul was a warrior. And a lot of warriors could not confront him. Like, like, like in those days, uh, when Super Ego wants to face... Um, Mm. Maybe Argentina, yeah, exactly. or Brazil, or Brazil, or Italy. <laughs> we already know. We already know the score. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> In those days. In those days, because we know that these people they are they are versatile. I mean, this is what they do. This is what they do for a living. <laughs> so, they, and you, you are a shepherd, and this man, what he does for a living is battle. Exactly. Fighting is what is uh -huh. a warrior. Uh -huh. So fighting. So the zeal of the Lord was what comes and that was that oh i come to you in the name of the lord that you defy mm. that you know you blaspheme against the so this and at the, at the long run the lord and that's why uh, the same thing also happened to stephen mm. when the zeal of the lord took over him even the sahedrin the sadducees the pharisees that was present he, he just he spoke the word raw to them mm. and at that point they stoned him to death Mm -hmm. So as I've said earlier, one to, uh, uh, not only the zeal, is understanding of who God is. Mm -hmm. Also help him. And that's why I quote the book of Daniel chapter mm -hmm. that said, those, those that know, know their God. God. Uh, and how will you know your God? If you do not have perfect understanding of the word of God. Mm -hmm. It is the word of the God, that, it is the word of the Lord that will give you a, 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 a kind of description. Mm -hmm. That no, this God can do this. He mm -hmm. can save you. Even when the battle is fierce, mm. in fact, when the challenge is so enormous, mm. if it looks as if there's no there's no tendency, there's mm. no form of victory, mm. but if the Lord is involved, mm. and the same thing is applicable to Gideon, mm. when mm. the angel told him that you mighty man of valor, mm. and he was and, and Gideon was so timid, mm. was, I, and they told him that hey, if that is the case, why were we taking? Life? And he began to lay experiences of what happened in mm. the days of his fathers. Mm. That, but now it's not happening again. Mm. So the zeal of the Lord and his focus again, mm. his focus also helped him. His focus was on mm. God, mm. and he also remember how God has helped him in mm. the time past. Mm. You know, before Saul, he told him that no. When a bear, when a lion mm -hmm. wanted to kill this thing, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I ran after it, I killed it. So mm -hmm. when we relate, and that's all, uh, we are sometimes we are very forgetful. Mm -hmm. Believers, we are so forgetful. Mm -hmm. We have we forgotten the challenge that is confronting us now. Mm -hmm. It's not as enormous as the one that we've conquered in time past. Mm -hmm. So, but we just we forgot that. For instance, you you trust God for admission. Okay. And there are a lot of students that applied, mm. and the Lord gave you admission. Mm -hmm. Even during that time, you, you, you trust God to, to excel in your study. Mm. And at long run, you came out with first class, despite challenges, mm. despite threats mm. from your lecturers, mm. from friends. Now you are not trusting God. Then you are not shivering mm. Mm. for job. Mm. A lot out of thousands of applicants, mm. you were singled out, maybe only 10 or 30. Or maximum 50 mm. were only employed in your department. Mm. But remember thousands of people that, that applied mm. for that same department. Wow. And remember that among the 50 students or 60 students in that your department, you trust God that God, I want first class. Mm. And the lecturer said, no, you have carryover in my course. Mm. And in that same course that the lecturer threatened you, you have A in that course. 
So it now got to the point of securing a job, you are not shivering. Mm. You are not looking for uh, extra, maybe for some help, mm. or sh how should I put it, to apply something so that you can get a job. The Lord that gave you admission mm -hmm. on a platter of gold, despite mm. thousands of applicants, right. the Lord that made you to a first class, mm. despite the threat, the challenge, won't mm. that same God will really not even give you. Is that uh, security job for you. Exactly. So like, that's what David also did. Mm. When he when uh, when Saul confronted him mm. and he said, No, uh, I remember what God did in the time past. Mm. He strengthened me, he enabled me. Mm. Even as a teenager, mm. I ran after the bear, mm. I ran after the lion, mm. I killed it. Mm. Then who it, and truly, truly, despite that, uh, Goliath uh, was born into battle, mm. into war, he knew the nitty gritty. But can we compare him with lion? Mm. We can't compare him mm. with lion. We can't compare yeah, him with bear. Yeah, and st still on David's um, faith, how his faith was generated. Yes, sir. I, I also believe that our experiences with God mm. can also form our faith to face future challenge or current challenge. Yes, sir. Because I look at David, when, he's, when he looked at Goliath, he told him that this is not the first time I'm being confronted with challenge. And God has always come mm. through. That experience or his testimonies became launching pad to be able to confront this current challenge. So you are making sense by saying that I faced a challenge, God came through, and I'm having another challenge. Why don't I have the same faith mm. that I had? And that this also will, that, that as it came, it will come to pass. Definitely. You know? Definitely. So people should not be forgetful of their experiences with mm. God. Yes, sir. We should, not be, we should be forgetful of our testimonies, the, the exploits of faith in the past can also help to build fit now for the current challenge or battle in our lives definitely and that is why it is important that we should give room for testimony mm. in the church no at times no there are mm. lot of people going through challenge mm. but when you give room that people sh to share their testimony they will tell how they overcome mm. and it's not only helping the person that is sharing the testimony, mm -hmm. it's also helping a feeble mind. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the, yeah. In, in it's the building somebody's faith. Exactly. Mm -hmm. that. If God can help Mrs. So so so, if God can help Mr. So so so, mm -hmm. I definitely God can help me. My case my, is uh, my, not, uh, beyond it's not beyond repair. That's right. That's right. That's very true. We will look into issue of testimony. It's an issue in Christendom. Yes, sir. It's an issue. Mm. Um, testimony is very good. Is I believe in testimonies. At the same time, we have to be guided definitely in the way we share our testimony and what is the motive, motive. behind the sharing of testimonies. Sometimes it could be a show off. You are right. It could be a way to intimidate somebody in the house. It could be a way to tell somebody, you, God has left you, God is here because of the proofs I have mm. with my faith. If that's somebody it. has faith he doesn't have proofs yet so he feels that this thing is useless here yes. uh, as you have rightly said although uh, God just the way the church is these days what formed the basis of testimony in those days mm -hmm. when we were growing up mm -hmm. it's not what formed the basis it's of, different of testimony. now it's different now in fact the emphasis the focus of testimony and that's why people need to be taught mm -hmm. they need to understand what testimony is all about mm -hmm. You know, hardly will you see people that will come and that, oh, I, I, I am saved. In fact, the way they will even, the way they will express the testimony, mm -hmm. you will know that they were in a very tight, desperate mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. And the Lord come for them. Mm -hmm. And you will see the genuineness. Mm -hmm. You won't see the pomposity. You won't see the show, mm -hmm. the, the show there. Yeah, that that, no, showmanship. The showmanship. You mm -hmm. won't see it there. But mm -hmm. you will see the genuineness mm -hmm. that, oh, at this point, Humility. I was about breaking down. Humility. Exactly. Uh, I, I, I was, you know, you know this, they we call something boiling point in mm -hmm. science. I was at the boiling point, mm -hmm. about to break down. We hoping that, oh, will this family just scatter like that? Mm -hmm. You know, will I just divorce my wife like that? Mm -hmm. And this thing, I, the genuineness, as you have said. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it is our responsibility, it is our work. Yeah. 
as as minister yeah. to also guide people, yeah. educate to, uh, people to educate people mm. that when you are coming to share testimony don't do it to intimidate people do it to arouse faith mm -hmm. You are giving others. glory to God. You are giving glory to God. You are also helping somebody's faith exactly. to build, to, to be build. built, build. you know, and all that. Exactly. So, very important. But still on the subject of faith, and then we've looked at um, where does faith come from. We've seen the place of the revelation. You yes, see, sir. people need to, to know there's a difference between the written word and the revealed word. The Bible. It's written. it's written. All of us have it. Yes, sir. But you see, where faith comes in is the word that is revealed to you. That's where your faith answers to. It doesn't answer to everything in there at a particular time. But the word, because some people, like you mentioned on the radio program earlier on, some people are copying people's other people's actions and claiming faith. <laughs> that's delusion exactly sir it doesn't work that way and then when they now fall they will say that but it's not working now meanwhile you didn't follow the deep process, the deep process. Mm. you you it's like you are take you are, it's like you are take you are taking a graft of your faith from somebody else's faith faith in faith in faith in faith faith in faith <laughs> <laughs> in fact, the, what you've just said is where we have issues, mm. many issues. When people say they are disappointed, mm. they don't longer believe mm. in the doctrine of Christ mm. or in the things of God. Ask them, mm. is it the personal encounter that they have with the Lord mm. that led to disappointment mm. or copying and pasting another man's life? Mm into their own as you have already mm -hmm. said maybe the lord revealed to you mm -hmm. that you sow a seed mm -hmm. like i've said faith sometimes we may, may be a sacrifice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and may be something that will go against your desire mm -hmm. but you just have faith in god to do that like the lord told abraham father of it get out of your father's house and he left mm -hmm. and at that age it was not the time that he hoped to leave his father's house 75 75 in fact, that is the age bracket that you see people returning back to their of village, course, now, just to their home. They have retired. Now, no, I don't want to. Uh, I want to spend the remaining my remaining days among my people. But the Lord said, "Get out," and he did not query God. It was against His will. It was against His desire. Mm. But he did not query God. He mm. obeyed. Mm. So, so but, faith is obedience. Faith, faith is obedience. Mm. Like now, someone should not just say that, "Oh, Mister So 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 or Pastor So So So." He left village. It was when he got to city that he made it. Mm. So, and leaving village, as God instructed you to leave where you are. That's it. Some people will say, oh, pastor, you know, the moment you are called, mm. oh, pastor, so, so, when he was caught, he resigned from his place of work. Mm -hmm. and, but ask that person. He was instructed. Mm -hmm. that, okay, when you are not instructed. When you are not instructed. If you take that action, it will lead to frustration. That's right. So, uh, like, maybe so, maybe when you are sharing your testimony that, oh, I saw a seed, mm -hmm. a, a mm -hmm. man of God shared mm -hmm. the testimony with us, is it for about 10 years? Mm. They've been trusting the law for the front of the womb. Mm. But an opportunity just came for them to sow a seed. And mm. after sowing the seed, the mm. fruit of the. Uh, but after listening to that testimony, you just feel like, oh, me too. I'll just go and. Mm. Is it revealed to you? God will reveal every testimony as his own key, mm. as his own that is attached to it, mm. that will unlock your testimony. Mm. To some, it is just evangelism. The moment they just get to the street and they evangelize, God will do what they've been praying for mm, for years. That's we, true. We begin to happen. That's true. So everyone has his own key. It's mm. not, we, we, are, we are so close with God. We have intimate relationship with Him. He will reveal to us. Faith is personal. It's personal. Yes, sir. And faith is a vector quantity. Exactly. It has magnitude yes, and sir. direction. Exactly. Not, exactly. not scalar. Mm. Scalar has magnitude. No direction, no direction according to physics yes sir with faith it is specific mm. god spoke to abraham, abraham specific get out of here anyone else that follows that action without revelation he will meet frustration exactly definitely but when you follow 
mm. God's direction in your life in obedience, then you are good to go. Mm. So everybody must wait to hear God personally. What has God said to you? What is God saying to you? That is the premise of your faith. And then today we've been able to see that faith is also obedience. Definitely. And then faith has corresponding action. Okay? Now, there are people... What do you see, Pastor, about... Okay? We'll go on break now and then we'll come back to the issue of um, bold speaking as mm. an expression of faith. I want, to, I want to find out what is mm. your opinion on that. Our viewers, thank you so much. It's been wonderful sharing with Pastor Ade Dutton Livingstone on the subject, the strength of faith. We'll go on a short break right now and then we'll return with further this conversation. Stay tuned and God bless you. Up to 75% of human infectious diseases originates in animals. And as more bushmeat is brought into our cities, the risk of human infectious disease outbreaks increases. Ebola, monkeypox, Lassa fever, yellow fever, and even COVID-19 may have been transmitted in this way. Illegal bushmeat trade not only endangers our wildlife, but affects our health and may damage our economy. So please, say no to illegal bushmeat. Keep them wild and keep us safe. Hello viewers, welcome back from that short break. This is Issues in Christendom. Today we've been looking at the topic, the strength of faith. And we'll be able to see uh, the value, the importance, and the exploits 
that faith has on the lives of the believer and our society as well. And uh, Pastor Adedotun is here um, sharing together the word of God today. Now, before we went on that short break, I was talking about what is your take on faith speaking or bold speaking or confession of faith? Is it on course with scriptures? Uh, definitely, it is on course. Mm. It's on course. But the only clause that is attached to it mm. is that no one should come out and make a declaration based on emotion, mm. based on what is happening around him. Mm. And that was what happened to the right man in the book of Second Kings chapter 6. Okay. No, when, when Elisha told him that mm. by this time tomorrow, mm -hmm. and he said, even if God, <laughs> no, that man, he knew about economy. Yeah. So, and that is why, and what Elisha came to. The technocrat. Uh, 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 exactly. And Elisha saying such word, making such declaration, we can call it both speaking mm. or face speaking mm. or confession. But he has had God. Mm -hmm. He has had God. So if anyone will come, in fact, as a matter of fact, as a man speaketh, so he is. As a man mm. thinketh, so he is. Mm. He said, have you have spoken to my ear? Although in a negative sense, so, so I will do. Mm. So I will do. I believe, therefore, I have spoken. I have spoken. So sometimes, uh, we both speaking, in fact, you may not be that in at that moment. Mm -hmm. But you kept telling people mm -hmm. that, no, 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 I am this. Mm -hmm. And maybe you are still begging. You are still, mm -hmm. you are still trusting the Lord for mm -hmm. breakthrough financially. Mm -hmm. And the Lord has promised you, the Lord has spoken to you that you shall learn to nation. Mm. And you kept on speaking those, and in what, it will come to reality. Mm. But the only thing is that it will be a big error. It will be a self-deception mm. if anyone will just come out and make a section of what God has not spoken about. Mm. That would be the biggest blunder, mm. and that's what is happening even in the in the body of Christ today. Mm. You see people they come forward and they can tell you that this is a person that will win the election, but no. Just speaking rubbish mm. and all those things. And even not saying that, they may even a kind of, oh, I see the Lord by tomorrow, you become a millionaire and nobody become a millionaire and became a millionaire. Mm. If, you are, if you are praying, let us know the difference between praying and making mm. faith confession. I don't mm. know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Faith confession is, as we have said, it is the word of the Lord, mm. either from Logos mm -hmm. or from Rema mm -hmm. that we generate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. your confession mm -hmm. at that moment mm -hmm. but if the word if it is not back up or if it is not generated from mm -hmm. the word of the lord mm -hmm. is a problem it means you are cajoling the people mm -hmm. it means you are deceiving the people mm -hmm. it means that you are presenting what is not for the people mm -hmm. and people don't need to be deceived mm -hmm. they just need to be told the reality mm -hmm. maybe someone came to you mm -hmm. and because he's a brother and he has been doing well he has been giving financially to the church project and he wanted to do something and just say, oh, 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 oh. I can see. No, no, no. He's a success. Don't worry. Don't worry. Go ahead with that project. Because of what he has been doing. Is it the Lord that gave you that? Mm. So, and sometimes, and that's, we must be able to discern. We must be able to listen. Mm. That, oh, Mr. So, so what mm. you want to do, don't go ahead. Mm. Mm. There's a danger ahead. Mm. I sense that the Lord want, do not want you to do it. That person may feel bad at that moment. Okay. But if the person go ahead, like uh, my mentor shared a testimony with me. That he was preaching. He did not know that a member wanted to open beer parlor. Mm. He was preaching that we like uh, in a sermon that of all profession, you cannot just come and meet me now that you want to open beer parlor. You know, you just know that is a worldly business, and <laughs> so you don't go ahead. So I don't know that his member that just received a large sum of amounts in his place so wanted to go and open beer parlor. About two Sunday, you know, when they were not discussing, you know, that member discussed with another member that oh, this is what I want to do. He said, ah, have you spoken with? Daddy, and he said, No, that, uh, I have not spoken with that, but daddy. But when he now came to me, I said, Ah, ah, but were you in church two Sundays? He said, Yes, but you had my sermon, yes. That's also, he said, Great, the member, he still insisted that no, he will go ahead. But uh, the, that member did like, is it not six or nine surgery with, in the space of a year? And he now said, Daddy, ah, I'm very sorry. Oh. If I know, I should have listened to you. So, what I meant is that there's one between both speaking, like just telling people that this and that's why i said it's not about it's beyond both but though there's element of boldness in faith because all of the people that exemplify faith in the bible we can see boldness but some there's something behind the boldness 
Mm. Not it's not like you said, it's okay. not about bold face. Mm -hmm. There's something mm -hmm. beneath it that no, mm -hmm. the Lord has told me, mm -hmm. the Lord has said this, or even if the Lord has not said, like the case of Daniel, he just trusted God. Not that the Lord told him that I will shut up the mouth of the lion. He did. Okay, but so because he, he trusts the Lord exactly. that no, 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 my God will deliver exactly. Me. So there's a difference between faith speaking, yes, sir, and positive confession definitely sir. it's a difference yes sir faith speaking means that i have heard god first i am i'm only echoing what i have heard i've heard but impulsive confession is just wish there's nothing wrong with positive confession but we're saying that when it comes to the issue of faith positive confession is not the same as faith speaking they may look the same externally, but the, the driving force behind mm. the two are different. The first speaking, there's a driving force. I have heard God. Based on what I heard from God, I am now declaring mm. and establishing myself on what God had said. is different from, because I see that uh, my brother is doing one exploit, he's building something, I say, okay, me too, I see myself building a 10,000 auditorium. Mm. But I've not heard him. So it's different. So we should be able to tell the difference between, you know, the two. Mm -hmm. mm. These are some. Now, Pastor, from your study of scripture, you have mentioned some of the people that demonstrated faith. Who among them? looks like outstanding to you personally mm. well actually there are there are several of them i know there are several of them but the one that really touched my heart is still abraham okay abraham as a father of as himself, father of himself. himself. <laughs> you know there are some things that because we've read ahead when the child asks him father where is the animal mm. that we will use? He said, God will provide. Mm. And, he wanted to That's and, and he wanted to go and kill the only child that he has waited for several years. If he, 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 because, you know, at times because we, we, we already know the end of, of the story. Course. So we are not struck with the reality, <laughs> that how realistic it is. It's like someone having the last cobble. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Even money cannot be compared to child. Now. No, no, but no, no, you no. know that you will still get another one. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But this one, child, where will you at Life. old age? Old age. At old age. Ah. And the man. Madam has a big metal stop. <laughs> yeah, now. And the, and the man lifted up the knife. Ah. No, he's not, he's not faking it. Mm. Sir, it's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. You know, and the Lord said, stop. Don't, don't touch the child. God already, you know. And that's why it amazes me because mm. it's not ordinary. It's, mm. He just believed that uh, uh, God will, even if I kill this child, God is able to raise the child. Mm. And what uh, a fate. What a fate. And I don't think he even. What a fate. Those that can discourage him, he told mm. them to stay behind. Mm. What a fate. I can kill the living. Mm. God can raise the God dead. God can raise the dead. So, so, me, I will kill the living. I have faith in God who raises, who raises the dead. Wow, powerful. For me, this woman in scripture, this Syrophoenician woman, mm. her faith touches me. Because the time of the Gentiles had not come. The Kairos time had not come. And the, the response of Jesus to her request looks insultive in a way. I said, this, this is children's bread. It's not for dogs. Mm. And the woman was intelligent. She said, Dust can eat the crumbs that fall from the from table. The Jesus said, What have faith? Okay. Mm. I'm looking at the intelligence of that woman to process Jesus' response to her and how that equals to faith to Jesus. Mm. I'm touched. And that because of that, she was able to bring an event of the future into now because the gentiles time was still ahead the lord has not died and resurrected but she was able to go forward and bring that time here 
For me, that faith is so touchy. What do you think, Pastor? In fact, <laughs> uh, know, as we are discussing about the seraphim woman, I just remember that faith is what we give you access to your world of possibility. Has it? So at times it goes beyond I'm a church goer. A lot of people are church goer. But they don't have it. But they don't have it. A lot of people pray, mm. but they don't have it. Mm. And that is why even mm. the book of James chapter 1 verse 6 emphasizes mm. that mm. the moment there's element of doubt, just forget mm. that no, a, a, a doubtful person cannot receive anything from the Lord. Mm. So mm. the moment we doubt that, oh, will this thing be possible? Mm. The doubt may come. Like Ephesians chapter mm -hmm. 6 verse 16 says, yeah, yeah, yeah. that is faith is, is of a faith. Sh shield of faith. Shield of faith. That is, there are a lot of things that Satan Say, or devil or, or his agent will bring to, to swallow your faith, mm. to swallow the promises of God for you. Mm. So when it suggests any, any thoughts, mm. either through thoughts or through verbal, because mm. it may be your thought and it may be other people telling you that stop it now. There was a day one of our father of faith in Nigeria, and they told, uh, they, uh, he said one of his members came to meet him that, Daddy, stop saying that you can never be poor again. People are making jest of you in the, in, the, in the town. They know that your car, they are still pushing the car. Mm. Your car is making smoke. Mm. But you say you can never be poor. Mm. But we know what you put on. Mm. Daddy, I'm ashamed. Please stop saying it again. Mm. But the man knew what he had from the Lord. Mm. And he kept on saying it. But today now, he's among the most yeah, rated yeah. man this of is. God in the world. Yeah. So, and that is the place of faith. And we, as children of God, when we come to this understanding, then it will help us. It's not about just praying. When you pray, let faith, let it mix up your prayer point with faith. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a day I had the story. I had the story of that there is a prophecy that they will, that rain will fall. Mm. That let us come and pray so that rain can fall in this community. Mm. And everyone came. And this young girl, they say the young girl came with an umbrella. Mm. And they asked that young girl, they said, ah, why? You do you come with umbrella? You know that it is so sunny, the sun is so scorching. Ah. They said, but we've come to pray for rain. Mm -hmm. So that when it rains, I'll be able to cover my shelf, shield myself from the rain. This that little girl was the only one. Of my faith. Uh, yeah, exactly, sir. So yeah. meaning that a lot of people pray well, so that they won't say that with all his challenges, he did not come for prayer meeting. Exactly. You know, you know when, when, when Peter was in prison, yes, sir. and the church prayed for him, mm. and he was released, when Peter got to the door of the house, they doubted it. Yes, sir. He said, no, 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 no. Yes, no. sir. I mean, the answer to your prayer the is here. Is here. And yet you are doubting. You are doubting. In fact, didn't no, you have faith that God happen? will answer your prayers? In, in fact. And that's how many people have, actually. Mm. They pray. They pray to God without faith. Without faith. So when the answer comes, they are unable to recognize the answer. The answer. Because there was no faith ab initio. Exactly, sir. Exactly. And that, and that woman, you know, like you said, you can change. Your faith can change the mind of God. Hmm. Mm. Ezekiah, the seraphim woman, yeah. the centurion. Mm. Mm. Your faith can, you know, at times, God, when God sees your level of faith, it, it, it can move it, God. It, it, it can move God. Faith moves that, that God. God who exactly, moves the world. Exactly. That, oh, someone can still trust it. Like, like your father, like our children. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when our children say, ah, I trust my dad. Yes, now. My dad will do this for me. Mm -hmm. And in your presence, your, they are, you know, they are when you don't even have the capacity. They are boasting. And when you say, my child, my dad will, must, will, will get me an error. I must manifest. Will buy me an error. I must manifest. <laughs> even if it is a toy, you will get it. I must manifest. <laughs> and say, this is the error. I must manifest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, so the centurion man, also the seven like, like the very, uh, mm. no, it is not yet time. Yeah. This food is meant for the children for the Jew mm. but because of your faith that child is ill so faith faith takes us to the realm of possibilities exactly sir. supernatural okay yes, pastor sir. we need to go now because of our time it's been wonderful talking with you this afternoon on okay, the subject sir. of faith i'd like you to speak to our viewers out there a pattern message on today's topic uh listeners viewers at home i just want to encourage you uh that don't lose faith Mm. and continue to grow in faith mm. i don't know the level of your faith 
maybe you are at the level of no faith. I'm mm. encouraging you, please have faith. Mm. Have faith in God. Mm. Uh, when we get to heaven, there are a lot of things we will understand by and by. Exactly. Everything cannot be explained logically. And if you are at the point of small faith, please grow. Keep mm. on. Faith is on layers. So it, 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 it's not static. So one will, be, one will be harming himself or in that what God wanted to do in his life mm. if he fails to stay at a particular spot. Mm. So keep on growing. Mm. Keep on digging deep into the word of God. Mm. Keep on listening to the word of God. Mm. And by, by so doing, you discover that you are growing in faith. Mm. And your faith will work for you. Mm. Amen. Your faith will work for you. Amen. I pray for you today. You will not have faith failure. Amen. Jesus prayed for Peter. Yes. So the enemy came to sift you like a wheat. But I prayed for you that your faith will not fail. Luke 22 and verse 32. He said, I pray for you that your faith will not, not fail. fail. Because the target of the devil a lot of times in our lives is to crumble mm. our faith. And may your faith stand strong and deliver to us amazing results and testimonies in Jesus' mighty name. Thank Amen. you so much, Pastor. Well, thank you very we much. We appreciate uh, you sharing with us today. It's my and our viewers out there, God bless you. Next week will be another time again. We'll come your way for another beautiful discourse on issues in Christendom, still on Western Spring Television. I am Pastor Steve Akinwomi. Bye for now.